caramel popcorn from where the cartoon came from. I just got a box. It's near and I'm going to decide what popcorn bucket to get. Um, they have a couple of Christmas versions. There's one that's just a carrying case that fits just this as a crossbody. And it's a plastic cover and it also um, goes around the clothes. A traditional popcorn that's lightly covered in some caramel. It's like it's crunchier than what I'm used to. It's delicious. I love it. Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. popcorn is except it's chocolate instead and I watched the cast member make it she put popcorn kernels into the traditional popcorn maker along with a cup of what looked like hot cocoa powder and then it turns into this and what I love about it is that it tastes like normal salted popcorn with a small layer of chocolate on it and it's so good I'm so excited I was nervous I thought it was gonna be like too chocolatey too sweet it's delicious. I think you could try it. We're gonna keep getting these little buckets because it's like, if I get a souvenir bucket, the refills cost more money. I think this is enough for two people, really, if you wanna try all the flavors. But if you've got a larger group, like maybe of three or four people, I would definitely invest in one of the larger popcorn buckets and just get the refills. That's it, bye. One more popcorn. Hidden. Hidden. Tucked away. Over here in front of the Mark Twain Riverboat Station. There's a popcorn cart that has barbecue flavor. I knew I had to have it. Because I've never seen barbecue before in all my years of like stalking the TDR popcorn website. Um, and all in all, it's not bad. <laughs> If you've had the curry flavored popcorn before, you're definitely going to like this because it's, it's in that similar vein of flavoring.